All right, happy birthday, Charlie Heathcote. Uh, celebrating 30 years on this planet and about five on booktube. I don't know how long it's been on booktube I got a message from fellow Charlie Charlie Brock on Instagram and um, she let me know She was doing a Charlie birthday book tag um, To help him celebrate his 30th birthday. It's a surprise So he doesn't know about this so I have to film this and get it edited and uploaded in time for Charlie's birthday But I think we can do that there are ten questions um, So I'm gonna go through them They're all obviously related to our very own Charles Heathcote and I will tag some people at the end whether or not you know Charlie, I don't care. I'm, I'm still going to tag you. So, Dane reads. Question number one. Charlie is the name of the game. Which is your favourite book, either by a Charles slash Charlie or featuring a Charles or a Charlie? Well, I mean, the easy answer is, like, R. Doris by Charles Heathcote, which was a cracker. Um, but I guess, I mean, I'm thinking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. Um, I do like a bit of Dickens here and there as well. Ch Charles is a is a good name. It's very esteemed. Um, also, there was was in fact wasn't there um, Lord Boreal? I'm sure Lord Boreal in uh, Northern well the Northern Lights series. I'm sure, he was a Charles. Uh, yeah. Oh no, he has a pseudonym. He he um he he is has the pseudonym of Sir Charles Latrom. So that's why I remembered that Lord Carlo Boreal, known as Sir Charles Latrom in Will's World. He was involved with the General Ablation Board. Um, but yeah, no, I think we're going to go with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory still. Because that was my first thought. Question number two. Are Doris a book you loved featuring a protagonist over 50? Oh, well, if it has to be specifically a book I loved as well. Oh, maybe... Um, oh, I did quite like that Graham Greene one. Um, what was it called? Oh, Travels with My Aunt. Um, so this is basically about... I mean, he's got to be over 50 in that the main character uh henry pulling a retired bank manager so he's retired so he's probably over 50 and that was very funny very good um yes and the aunt aunt augusta who's like not the protagonist but the main supporting character she's got to be like 80 90 you know question number three an heir to murder a fave crime slash mystery book well I mean, I do love Agatha Christie. Death on the Nile, probably. That's actually why I have this tattoo. Let me just take my Fitbit off, because my Fitbit goes over it. Um, I have this. It's a, an Egyptian Ankh and Eye of Horus. Um, and this is a reference to... Well, it's a reference. The Ankh is uh, a reference to the, the Discworld for me as well. Um, I like the symbology, actually, of the Ankh and the Eye of Horus. It's the right Eye of Horus, I believe. Yeah, it is the right eye of Horus. I have to think about this when I look at it to figure out which eye it is. Um, and that has specific meaning as well. And yeah, I didn't want to just get a tattoo of Hercule Poirot's moustache or something. So it was like Egyptian style, death on the Nile. Bang. Question number four. Chocola, a book by one of your favourite authors. Um, well, I've just kind of answered that. So I guess we'll go to a different favourite author and we'll go to Stephen King. And we'll go with The Stand because it's my favourite Stephen King book. Although, actually, funnily enough, right above my ankh, I have um, Your Float It Too from, from It. Question number five. Reading is fundamental. A book you think everyone should read. Well, any of my books, please. The... the you know, the Lightfold series by Dane Cobain, Driven, The Tower Hill Terror, and um, The Lightfold Files. Had to think about that for a second. Book number four, Boys in Blue, coming soon-ish whenever I get a chance to get to it. So I would, I would probably, say, probably say that. Question number six, The TARDIS. A book you wish you could go back in time and tell yourself to stay away from. Um, well, there are a few of these. I mean, um, there's Paolo Coelho, The Alchemist, which I hated, and it, my friend Neil hated it so much he threw the book out the window. Um, but actually, I think um, the what is it? The Shadow of the Shadow of the Wind, The Shadow in the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Sifon. Um, I hated that book, and then I've had a lot of backlash on YouTube from people who really love it, and are like, "You only made a negative review to get publicity," and it's like, mate, if I was gonna do go for publicity, I wouldn't be doing a review in the first place. And then every now and then, I get a really nice comment from somebody who agrees with me that the book is, I mean, it was well written in terms of the individual sentences, um, but that might just be the translator. I don't, I don't know. The actual plot was terrible. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to rant about it here. Okay, question number seven. Victoria Wood, a book that made you laugh. Probably any Terry Pratchett Discworld book. Um, Feet of Clay is one of the early ones that made me laugh quite a lot. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll go with that. Question number eight. So Sally. 
can wait. She knows it's too late. A book featuring your favourite pet slash animal. Well, my favourite pet slash animal is Biggie, who's over there, and he's, he's not not in anything. I did did get um how to teach your uh, yeah how to teach your cat Welsh teach your cat Welsh by Anne Kate Bread. Um, so that's kind of related to it. I guess my other than that, my favourite animal. I mean, oh well, we could go for Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. I have another tattoo here. That's uh, Europe Burnus in the armoured bear, and that is a scratch from my cat. Question number nine. I'm very sorry about this. Un libro che amo ancora. Either a favourite translated book or a translated book you want to read. Um, I'll, I'll, I can get you this one because it's just up, up up here. Oh, Cemetery Air by Stephen King. So this is Pet Cemetery. Um, Six hundred and forty odd pages of French, and I, I I bought that from the catacombs in Paris as well. So actually, the place I bought it from kind of stands out to me as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting to that one because I know it's going to be difficult. Um, probably the, well, yeah, definitely the biggest challenge my, my French reading at least will have, will have gone through. Um, but also a favourite translated book. I can do the other part of that as well. We'll go for Shadows on the Tundra by Dalia Grinka Vesvete, which is, I want to say she was Romanian, but she might not have been. She might have, actually, no, she was from the Baltics. And Romania, is that in the Baltics? I don't know, but she anyway, she was deported by the Soviets during the Second World War and sent to Siberia. Um, and this is like her memoirs of her time there, and she talks about like, people were dying and the ground was too frozen for them to bury bodies and things like that, it's really messed up. Um, I kind of say it's a bit like Anne Frank's diary, but written by an adult, you know? And she did survive and then she died in about like 1980 or something like that. And this manuscript was eventually found buried in her garden. Because um, she'd bet hid it there so the Soviet authorities wouldn't find this. It. It's crazy. Question number 10. Age UK. A charity shop book bargain you adored. Well, I've literally got my stack here. These are all of the ones that I've just bought from the charity shop over like the last two days. Um, but one that I adored specifically that I got from a charity shop would probably be... Oh, I was going to say The Handmaid's Tale, but actually I think I got that from HMV of all places. Um... So, what are some of my other favourites? I got Stoner by John Williams. Yeah, Stoner by John Williams. I got that from a charity shop and that was one of my books of the year. Um, also, probably my top book of the year so far has been Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin and that was also a charity shop find. So, there we have it. I'm now going to tag some people and I'm going to do my usual thing of going into my comments. So, I was going to try and tag people who know... Charlie. Oh yeah, I have this comment. Somebody says, your voice conjures up the atmosphere and tension of a party political broadcast. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Oh, and then the next comment after that is somebody 100% agreeing with my review of Carlos Ruiz of Fon, The Shadow of the Wind. Anyway, uh, I'm going to tag Alex Black Reads, uh, Mindy's Book Journey, Book Seriously Man, Big Hard Books and Classics, Say Kevy, Mindy's Book... Oh no, I did that. Jim's Books Reading and Stuff, Reading This Life, and Cats and Camera, and of course, we probably should tag Charles Heathcote, so I'm gonna tag him as well. So there you have it, that was my take on the Charlie birthday book tag. Again, very many happy returns, Charlie. Bon anniversaire. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that in Italian, so you're just gonna have to take it as, as it is. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag and stuff, uh, um, and of my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.